Have you ever tried to do some artwork with your kids at school or maybe make it yourself and you feel like you couldn't draw that well? Well, my students face the same thing and what, being an art teacher, whenever they try to draw something they couldn't do that well, they instantly shut down. Luckily, with an app like DrawCast, which is for free, these students can now take a photograph of something and trace it and make it look realistic. You can see right here on my drawing that I have on the screen with you that I did in DrawCast, uh, the black outline would be my contour, the edges. And then you could use a variety of layers and paint over them or paint underneath them. If you know anything about layers, such as using GIMP or Photoshop, you know how great the functionality is with them. But with DrawCast, you get two layers, you get a variety of colors, blending options, and it's an excellent tool to use for any art class or any student or person that may be having a struggling time working with uh, drawing or painting. So I want to take some time right now to show you how you could take a photograph and make it look like a realistic piece of art. So here are some examples of my saved work that I've done in DrawCast over the years. The two things that I use the most are I take a pencil drawing that I've done, like I have here of my school's mascot, and then I'll use the stylus pen on my iPad and I'll digitally outline it. And then I can take that and I can add even more digital effects into another program such as GIMP. Um, here's another one I did. We have a bear, digitally outline, added some more drawings. And then it has some really nice blending options that you can use where you can combine colors and it makes it look a little bit more smoothed out and realistic. Another thing I really like to do is take a photograph like I had my wife here and I digitally outlined her and I added other additional effects for the sci-fi story that I did once. A lot of times when my students first start to use this program somebody else's picture might be on there and they're like well how do I get rid of it? So that's where I like to start us all first. Let's hit the gear all the way in the upper left hand corner we're given these options and you can always see the ways that we could share that photo as well and save it to my photo library. So we're gonna make a new drawing and you have your options you can start with a black screen, a white screen for the sake of our argument right now I am going to use a photograph um, unfortunately our school doesn't allow Facebook or the kids could be able to connect to their Facebook account so I'm just gonna take a photo with my camera or I can add one of my photo libraries. So let's just take one with my camera and I love it. Oh yeah, that's a great double chin right there. So I can zoom in, get the photo where I want it, range it, and hit done. Notice where it says top, is up top. You want to make sure that's ready for your photograph. Alright, so now we have our photograph laid in. I always like to try and tell the kids that try to think about your artwork as a hamburger. Uh, the bottom bun is my photograph. I'm going to make two layers on top. So if you see the M right up top, we have our midground and our foreground. You can also address uh, the intensity or the translucence on it so it can be a little bit more faded on some layers. We don't have anything on it right now. But I want to make sure that my contour sketch is going to be on my foreground. So I hit draw on foreground and now it says that option it's active. So I hit back and now by zooming in on the photo and by coming down here to my color wheel, I like to make sure that I have black, I have a hard brush, and uh, I'm going to have a pretty small paintbrush size. And make sure your opacity is all the way up for this step. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and I'm going to outline everything the best that I can. I can go back in and I can bring that paintbrush size up a little bit more. Maybe I want to make some things darker stand out. Maybe I want to have a thicker outline for uh, the edge of my face. Yeah, I'll even do my double chin too. So take a couple minutes and start to outline everything in your photograph to make it a true contour sketch. 